All right, Josh, why did you want to get back here today? Um, I was invited back. I've been going back to a couple places, and uh, I just want to go back to somewhere special. You know, on the OV, they left an impression. I just want to get back up here and feel that same thing. You went to Georgia Tech yesterday, correct? Yes, sir. Anywhere else during this week that it's open? Uh, has not, no, sir. Anything coming up? Uh, no, sir. Not that I see so. No. Could so, change. So you talked about that feeling. Did you get that feeling again? Or what? And also, what is that? Feeling? 100%. I mean, the same impression that was left on me from the official visit. It's still here after this visit. Uh, you know, FSU's a great school. And, you know, you know, they're... Uh, really special and they hold that place in my heart and you know they've been with me along the recruiting journey coach Atkins has been there I don't know which one but it's I'm pretty sure it's in the first 10 and um, yeah watching the O-line work coach Atkins in his element at practice what stands out to you as a guy who's about to get into the college game uh, coach Atkins definitely knows what he's doing uh, the guys in his room are bought in and uh, they they can see his vision and they can see how clearly he does it and they can tell he can teach yeah coach him him and coach Fertitta they run a great little duo in that in that room and he's up there doing the big stuff and you know you can go to coach Fertitta with any questions you need today's probably the last time you'll get to talk to coach Norvell before your decision at least in person what was the conversation like with him and what's the relationship with him over this whole process for you um so the relationship has been great um you know he's been a crazy excited dude he's just running around this building and uh yeah, it's been great uh, he's very professional. He's a great head coach. You know, he's got that vision and that dream for his team, and he's real. Uh, that's one thing. He's very real. He looks you in his eyes, and he tells you his dream and tells you that he wants to coach you. And, you know, that was kind of what we talked about, him wanting to coach me, a couple of concerns we had, and just, you know, getting all things sorted out. So coming down to the finish line, what, what are you trying to figure out in this process? Are you still deciding on August 12th? Yes, sir. Uh, just which school is best for me, to be honest. I mean, I think... Uh, there are multiple schools I could see myself at, but I just got to find that best fit for me. You know, there won't be a perfect fit. There's never going to be a perfect fit, but I got to find the school that aligns most with me and doesn't have any of the things that are too bad that I can't, you know, commit for. When you talk about that fit, what is it in particular you're looking for? In particular, um, I don't know if I could put it into words, to be honest. It's just a combination of things, you know, uh, the development, the school, the coaching, how I feel at the place, you know, what it what it means to me, how that place is going to impact me for the rest of my life. You know, they talk about this being a 40 year decision and a four year decision. Well, if it's gonna be 40 years, I wanna make sure I make the right one. And that's just, you know, what's been holding me up. Are you still looking at all the schools you took officials to or have you narrowed it even further? Uh, it's still five currently and all the schools I took a visits to. Your sister's coming here in the fall. How big of a factor does that play? Uh, getting my sister here was huge. Um, you know, she kind of never really knew where she wanted to go to school, and you know, she figured it out here. And um, I got to mean, you know, it's got to mean something here, and got to mean that they have something special here. So uh, her, her coming here has been huge. You know, I, I love my sister. She's uh, been great getting back with her and visiting her on on this campus. So uh, yeah, it's been a big part, and it was a big part for the Knowles for me. You've taken, in, you've taken in a bunch of practices at this point. What does it mean to you to see the consistency, not only with Coach Atkins, but the rest of the coaching staff, uh, the multiple times that you've been able to come here and see them, see them coach? Uh, the consistency has been great. You know, they always have energy at practice, always going hard, you know, going at their guys. But you can tell that they care for them and are really trying to pick them up and show them the proper technique and get them better at what they're doing. Do you feel like you have a pretty good idea at this juncture who it's going to be in two weeks? Not really. No, sir.